Vickies. Uh, we are starting a new week. It's Saturday. Yes, I actually vlog on a Saturday. Woo! <laughs> First time in a bit. Um, it's the 28th. It's 9.08 in the morning. I have a ton of stuff to do, and I'm also wanting to kidnap one of my friends this weekend for a book trip because my husband is out of town for a funeral. Um, so, I'm by myself. <laughs> I don't like to be by myself. Well, okay, so I'm weird. Like, I'm an introvert, but I'm, like, a little extroverted. I don't know. There's this whole thing where, like, the guy who came up with the introvert-extrovert thing, um, he hypothesized that, like, people have a bit of both, but now it's been turned kind of into, like, people are one or the other. But I feel like I'm kind of both, depending on the situation, which I think is what the original meaning of that. But anyways... <laughs> Uh, I miss my husband and bookstore. Anyways, uh, <laughs> might not be able to kidnap her. I don't know. Um, we'll see. But I am currently reading Beauty and the Best Room. Um, Kitty says hi. She is very unhappy that my husband is gone. Artie. Artie, baby, it's okay. She's so upset. <laughs> Artemis! No! Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to finish this one today because it is due... <laughs> my cat. It is due um, today. Oops. Then I'm going to spend this weekend um, catching up on a lot of physical books. Um, a lot of physical books. I have a lot of physical books I'm behind in. Um, I have um, Breathe and Count Back from 10, which I'm wanting to finish. I'm also wanting to get to Leah Park and the Missing Jewel. It's all in How You Fall. And the Gilded Ones, because the Merciless Ones tour is Monday. Um, and then I have quite a lot of others, but we're going to start there. So, yeah. It, my God. My pile covers up my Isabel poster. Um, but, yeah, that's where we are. So, I'm trying to get some internet stuff done first before I go out. I also have to do an Amazon return at Kohl's and get gas and go check my P.O. box because we've not done that yet. Um... But I'm pretty much done with housework. I still got to vacuum and clean up in here and stuff like that. Um, and I got just a couple more internet stuff to do. I got a bunch of it done Thursday. And then Friday I kind of died. I was tired. Um, brain no worky. <laughs> um, so that's where we are. I'm about to edit. So I think I'm going to put you to some lo-fi and let you watch me work. So I will... Catch you buckies up in a sec.
buggies. You may think this is a new day. It's like Sunday when she's recording this and it's early. She's got the house clean. She's got her reading done. She's caught up with Instagram. She's ready to go and kidnap her friend. You would be fucking wrong. I, <laughs> I have spent the last 12 hours, 14 hours, sorry, 14 hours working on the damn computer to get editing done, to get the internet stuff done, to get a myriad of stuff done, and also on top to research colleges for my mother-in-law because she babies her late brother's son, which would be her nephew. There we go. See the brain, the brain not no working no more. I'm not in the research colleges for his video game design degree. And like, well, I don't mind that. I'm a little busy today. <sighs> it's 9.52 it's 9 p.m. I'm uh, just now getting down here to do a small workout. I have not done any of the downstairs chores. But I did, I did procrastinate for like 30 minutes and decide that, you know, I don't have enough on my plate. I'm not busy. I have t all the time in the world. I'm going to do dessert a thon. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, I'm going to enter dessert a thon. I'm excited for it. Oh my God, why is it my thing typing? I am excited for it. It seems really, really fun, but damn, I, am I really pushing it? Because um, I still got to get medieval fun books read. I've not read a single damn one. I've read, I have completed the books for, you know, getting out of prison and becoming the empress, but nothing within my concentration. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm a masochist, I guess. I like the pain. I don't know. So here's the plan. We're going to do a workout. We're going to start on the laundry. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to clean the entire floor. Vacuum, go upstairs, clean that floor, shower, continue to do laundry throughout the night, finish Beauty and the Bachelorette, um, get started on, what was that next book? I think it was It's All in How You Fall. Get started on that one. Um, I want to finish, well, you know, I might push that one off, actually. So, I'm going to push that one off. Um, it's All in How You Fall and Leah Park. And I'm going to get to... Um, Breathe and count back from 10. I'm going to finish that one after I get Beauty in the Best Room finished. And I'm going to reread The Gilded Ones because I don't remember a damn thing that happened in that book. Because I have the sequel that's due Monday. So I'm going to read that and somewhat get caught up. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. But anyways, that's the loose plan as of right now. Is it a good plan? No. God, no. It's a awful plan. But it's the only plan that we got. So, um, vibes. Send the vibes to me because I'm going to need them. Cover. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to start reading. Walk for 30 minutes. Get some of this nervous energy out of me. Ethan fell asleep on me. Like, I, under, I understand. He did a long drive. Like, I'm not mad at him. I'm fake mad right now. But, like, I'm lonely. I'm really lonely. So, hopefully Jess is not busy tomorrow. Because I'll take her to bookstore. So, I could use a bookstore, too. I, I saw someone had... Okay, someone's TikTok. And they had the, um, the ultimate reading challenge. And so, like, you complete... Um these like little prompts like reading related and um they have like little items in it and I'm like I want it I don't know why I don't know if I would even complete it but the little the little part of my brain that ADHD is affecting and it's lacking the dopamine or whatever it's like look that's gonna give you all the dopamine and it's gonna be great for like the 0.5 seconds that it lasts. It's gonna be great. So, I wanna go to a Barnes and Noble and get that, but I also wanna take her to Little Shop. So, she's never been to Little Shop. But also, she's never drove with me and she's terrified of the city. But if I'm kidnapping her, she really has no choice in where I go. Anyways, I'll figure that out. So, I will catch you bookies up in a bit. Oh, 
hey bookies. I'm in the same clothes from yesterday. It's like six, actually it's technically seven in the morning. I'm so tired. So tired. Um, Sophia was very upset last night. She had went outside at one point and um, they shot off fireworks. It scared her. So yeah, um, poor baby. So she was <clears throat> wanting cuddles last night. She's absolutely terrified. Um, I finished the housework yesterday. So now I just got to do the daily chores. Well, I've not finished laundry. That'll be an ongoing thing. I had to do that. Got to finish the, uh, on the daily chores. I'm going to get dressed and then I'm going to read. I'm going to finish Beauty and the Besharam. Um, I think I might finish this book too. It's Pretty Dead Queens and it's really, really good. Um, might finish that one. Then I'm going to get started on Breathe and Count Back from 10 and the Gilded Ones. Read the Merciless Ones. And then I'll be done with tour books for May. And then I have like 10,000 more to go through. <laughs> so that's where I'm at right now. Plus I got to read the Medieval Fun books. And oh my God, it's going to be a big day for reading. Might just do 10 minutes today. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, that's where we're at right now. So I will catch you bookies up in a sec. Hey bookies, it is Monday the 30th. Happy Memorial Day, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, so uh, it's been a morning already. I've already went out. I've done shopping. That's why I'm in pajamas because I like to decontaminate from the outside ick, especially since I had to go into places where everyone except me was not masked. It's great. It's very great. Anyways, so um, I just got finished filming the May wrap up and the June TBR. Um, spoilers. I'm doing dessert a thon. Yes, I like to inflict pain upon myself. So, yeah, there's that. Um, right now we are still doing some chores, so I'm going to try to get those done. I have not read any of the May Medieval Thon books because I've just been so chaotic. It's been chaotic for May. But I'm hoping to get at least one or two. Two of those read for today and tomorrow. I have two books, physical books that are left for me. That is Breathe and Count Back from 10 and the uh, Gilded Ones because I am reading the Merciless Ones, which is due tomorrow. So I need to read both of those and the Merciless Ones. I'm also reading Pretty Dead Queens, which is really, really good. Um, it's a thriller. It's Alexia Dunn's uh, new thriller that's coming out in August. Um, basically about um, this decades old prom queen murder but yet there might still be a killer at large um also all the prom queen vibes um but yeah that is the update for right now i'm going to shoot some when i actually start reading but for right now i ha am working on getting my quarantine area set up because my husband is coming back from illinois and a couple of maybe like one more hour he'll be back home um and because he was around people also that were not vaccinated and did not have masks and he was also in a hotel room which reuses air that other people are breathing just to be on the safe side because I don't want the ick and I don't want the dogs to get sick he's gonna go into quarantine for a couple of days just to see how he's faring I think after two or three days he'll be fine um, we're gonna play it by ear it's not gonna be a very strict quarantine I just want to make sure that I don't get sick because I have a lot of stuff that would make getting COVID absolute hell on me and possibly kill me. And for some reason, I still want to live. I don't know why. I have found a will to live, but I can't remember what that was. Anyways, I'll catch y'all up in a bit. Hello. I'm tired. I don't know what I did to that last clip. That was hilarious. I only saw it in the mirror. Okay, so anyways, it's the 31st. I'm very tired. Uh, the battery is dying. Ethan's in quarantine. He's not feeling that great. Um, so he is resting. Uh, we're making sure that he's not sick before I let him back out in the gen general population, you know. Um, uh, so he's being quasi modoed in his bell tower at the moment. I didn't read yesterday because all my motivation would die as soon as I get a chore done. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I have like three books due today and I'm 
panicking. I also have a bug due tomorrow. So yeah, that's everything. Um, I'm going to end you right now and do a workout, and then I'll give you a new battery, and we'll talk later. So catch y'all up in a sec. Oh, hey, Bookies. It is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday, the 1st of June. We made it in June. Where the hell did May go? Anyways, um, very tired. I overslept a little bit. So I just got some chores done. I got the laundry, or not the laundry. I got the dishes started. Um... There's supposed to be a pest control guy coming just to check the traps just one more time. Um, he's supposed to be coming. What's up with the poof? Um, today, don't know when. Maybe Ethan can handle it. I don't know. Um, he's doing good so far. I think I'm going to have him test. Not entirely sure if I should. I don't know. I'll run it by him. Anyways, um, he's doing good. The babies are doing good. Everyone's doing good. Um, I finished the Merciless ones yesterday. Like, I was starting on the Gilded ones, and I'm like, I think I remember enough about this to review to uh, to review the second one without going through the whole book because I was running out of time. So I did, um, but there wasn't like a lot of recap, and the book was really fast paced, but. But, if you are looking for a book series that deals with feminism and talks about a lot of societal issues like racism and homophobia, um, etc, etc. Purity culture, there's purity culture um, that's talked about in it, um, and it's set in a fantasy and you want black main characters, um, The Gilded Ones, The Deathless series, is your series. It is tremendously good. And I got done with the Merciless ones, and I want to immediately reread them. So, the Gilded ones is still on my TBR, and I'm going to reread it. <laughs> it's so good. Um, so, today, because I ran out of steam yesterday, like, brain was not working. I think it's because I've been uh, dehydrated lately. Um, and I've had a lot of anxiety, which is no good, but whatever. So, um, I am starting today a little bit country. That one's due today. But I don't think I'm, it says it's like a 352 pages, an hour and 23 minutes left in the book. I don't think I'm going to get through it in an hour and 30 minutes. I think in close to 2.15 probably, but um, I'm going to read that today, get it done, get the review up. It's going to be fine. And then after that, I'm also going to start reading uh, Places That We've Never Been by Casey West um, and Out of the Blue. I've also got for physical book Slip, and I want to be a vase. Is that the title? I can't remember. That is the update for right now, so I'll catch y'all up in a sec. I passed out sometime around 8 o'clock. I don't remember what went on after that. Um, obviously, I was conked the fuck out. Um, woke up at like... 147. I still have a headache because I think that's why I went to sleep initially. I don't remember. It's like 428. I don't remember anything. But yeah, so yesterday I started and finished a little bit country and then I started places that we've never been. A little bit country was so good. Um, five out of five. Basically, it is about this. Um, it's a dual POV um, between two gay uh, characters. Um, one is an aspiring country singer and the other one um, is a small town boy who, well, small town man, I guess. I don't know. Um, small town person who, <laughs> who um, is having to um, help his family out. They're struggling financially. Um, stuff like that. There's also this side plot of um, this really big country singer, like, think Dolly Parton, but her daughter name is Wanda Jean, and they had this really big blowout, um, public blowout with this other person named Verna Rose, um, and, um, yeah, there's, like, this whole subplot about that happening, but anyways, like, if they meet, it's, it's insta-love, they fall in love, um, but they're having to deal with the problem that, um, the rising country star, who's Emmett, he's public, publicly out. Um, the small town guy is not out. <sighs> um, stuff like that. It was really good. I felt like the plot slowed down in the middle, and then, like, there was a lot 
there, it went a lot faster at the end and there was like a couple of stuff that wasn't very clear on what happened but other than that it was really really good i highly enjoyed it five out of five for me um and it is fade to black romance um there is an implied sex well there is a sex scene but it's fade to black um so yeah i think it'd be really good for like 15 16 year olds sorry because it was a really sweet just romance um but yeah um, places we've never been is a road tripping romance. It's a grumpy sunshine. Um, I got like 90 something pages in it. It's kind of weird because of the way that NetGalley gave me the file. I'm having to read it on my computer. So it's like I'm at 65 out of 219 pages. But then I converted that into percentages and I put that into my Bookly app and um, I'm at 29%, which is 90, 97 pages. I don't know. Anyways, um, basically this is about a girl named Nora, and she's going to college um, in the fall, and her mom is wanting to do like this big road tripping thing to get over to the, or she's going to go see a college, one of those, um, but they're going to do like this big road tripping trip to get over to the other college, um, and they're doing it with family friends um, that they've not seen in a long time because they moved away. Um, and Nora had this crush on one of the, um, one of her childhood friends, um, who's part of that family. But when they reconnect, he's very grumpy. He's a very grumpy, he's a very grumpy boy. Um, and she's like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work out. <laughs> um, but it's pretty good right now. It's pretty good right now. Um, there's, it's very like, it's, the characters are old, or older, like they're like 17, 18, but it feels like such a much younger book, which I guess is okay. I mean, that's okay. It's totally okay. Totally okay. But it's just kind of weird with the ages, but it's totally okay because young kids need something too. Um, but yeah, that's what I read and then I passed out. So today's agenda, I'm going to continue reading Pretty Dead Queens. Um, I'm going to figure out all the damn chores I gotta do. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Um, and I'm also wanting to finish Pretty Dead Queens. I'm wanting to finish uh, Places We've Never Been because that one's due today. And I'm wanting to start and finish Out of the Blue. I also have a slip to start and finish and I want to be a vase and then I'll be done with reviews for this week and I'm going to start working on next week slash uh, getting some of the Desertathon TBR and my other TBR out. Um, but yeah, that is everything right for right now so I'll catch y'all up in a sec. Oh, hey bookies. It is Friday in the vlog, June 3rd, 10.38 in the morning. Um, I slept in. My back's been killing me. That's what happens when you sleep on the couch because your bed is in quarantine. Anyways, um, yesterday was a big reading day, so I finished places we have we've. Uh, so I finished places we've never been. Um, it was good. Four out of five. Um, I thought that the book was really really cute. It's a road trip romance. Um, I'm going to turn this slide on while I'm talking to you. So it is a road trip romance. Um, basically, our main character, her name is Nora. Um, and she is going to do a interview for this kind of private like college in Seattle. She's over um, in California, I think. <sighs> Tired. <laughs> um, She's somewhere. So they're doing like this big road trip to get up there through the summer in RVs. And um, her mom invites um, her best friend and their kids. And the middle child who's Skylar used to be like BFFs with, um, with Nora. Um, and then they grew distant. There was something that happened um, to them. Um, and they, his family moved over to Ohio, so now it's about them reconnecting and stuff like that. It was cute, but one, I've never heard of a college interview, so, like, I was like, what the hell is this? Um, but that was just on me. I had never heard about it. Um, but two, um, well, there were a couple things. I thought that the pacing, like, really slowed down, um, in the middle, 
I guess. Um, it was just kind of slow. Um, what else was there about that book? There was a lot of characters right off the bat, and <laughs> the fact that they didn't address the parents by, like, Miss or whatever, which, like, I'm fine with. I address... I have addressed adults in my life as, as that before as by their first name but it's just confusing to me because within the first chapter I'm introduced to like 10 different characters and it was a little confusing um but once once I got them I got them um I just kept confusing Olivia and Paisley which is really really weird um and Willow I kept confusing those three the boys I had no issue with the girls like mm, I don't know. I don't know what was going on with my brain there. Um, but other than that, it was good. Um, I gave it a 4 out of 5. Oh, and also, like, okay, so there, there's an epilogue at the end, right? And everything kind of resolved. But there were some issues that I thought that the um, family needed to discuss that wasn't resolved. Namely, how the father figure of one character treated that child. Because, like, they're all still under 18. Like, they're all going into their... Well, except for the two oldest kids. They're, like, 19. But still, like... It was just insanely awful how that father treated one of the characters. And that was just, like, it's what it is. And I'm like, no, that's not how, what it is. Um, go back. Let's, let's figure this out. There was, like, one more plot point to it that um, just kind of absolved in the wind um yeah 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 so that was that book i also finished um out of the blue which is really really cute um it's by J jason june i, <laughs> I want to say june jason so bad i don't know why but jason june um it was really really good I think I've read another Jason June book before, or I've heard of it. I think it's Jay's Gay Agenda. Not sure if I read that or not. I can't remember sometimes. But anyways, like, out of the blue, it's a really cute um, mermaid um, fantasy, but it reads like a contemporary book. It's like one of those, like, magical realism books. But basically, um, I thought this was kind of funny. So, like, the mermaids in this universe act as kind of like fairy godparents where um, they, like, they help humans um, out. Like, okay, so, like, there's this thing called the journey, and all the mermaids have to take it, and it's, it lasts a month of their life, and they have to live with the humans and be a human and stuff. It's basically the mermaid version of Rumspringa, which is an Amish thing. If you've ever heard of Rumspringa. But um, if you're confused on what Rumspringa is, uh, basically, like, starting at 16, depending, like, um, sometimes it's like 17 to 21, um, an Amish child can choose to leave the community and go out into the modern world and um, experience that for at least a year, I think, if not more. Um, and then they can come back, um, uh, within, like, certain time restraints of their specific community and, um, join back into the Amish fold or choose to live the rest of their existence out in the modern world. Um, so basically the mermaid version of that, they have, a they have to go out for one month, um, and they have to perform a act of service for a human, help a human out. And then on the blue moon, they can come back um, into the ocean. Um, or they can choose to stay ab abroad, which only, like, one mer has done. Um, or if they just, cut, like, completely forget and don't come back into the water on the day of the blue moon. Or if they do it before the day of the blue moon, they're just kind of stuck as humans. So we have Cress, who's doing their journey thing because the mermaids are non-binary, which I really like the non-binary... Um, um, aspect of it because it, it really made sense like they don't have a concept of gender um so Cress is doing their thing and they come across sean sean is our gay male protagonist and he's such a sweetie he's also plus size and i love that um but sean is a swimmer and a lifeguard um and his boyfriend like right as Cress comes 
top side, I guess you could say, um, um, Sean's ex, or Sean's boyfriend Dominic breaks up with them for another guy. Um, Sean is obviously heartbroken. I have to continue to check the battery on here. Sean is, is obviously heartbroken. Um, doesn't know what to do and he wants to get back together with Dominic and her crest and together they form this fake dating plan to help Sean get his man back. But Sean and crest end up falling in love with each other and it's so sweet. It's such a sweet book. Um, highly recommend it. Five out of five. It was cute and I hope that there's another book that's set in the world because I would really love to know more about like not not just the Merlor, but like Crest informed Sean at one point that there are all sorts of mythological creatures out there. So I would like them to like go adventuring together and uh, there'd be like a whole series set in this world. It was really well done. For it to be like somewhat of a short book, it was really well done. I also finished a uh, Slip, which is a graphic novel. Um, basically it is about this girl, her name is Jade, and she got accepted into this summer art program, so yet another summer camp book, <laughs> but hey, we love them. Um, and right before she leaves, her friend Phoebe starts, her friend Phoebe has some mental health issues, um, she goes to the hospital, they didn't think that she was going to make it, I'm trying not to get this video flagged. Read, it, read in between the lines, people. Um, they didn't think that she was going to make it from her mental health issue. So they hospitalize her right before Jade goes um, to this art program. So a lot of the book um, is not colored in. Um, there's very little coloring. Um, but the use of red is used um, throughout in only only in spots when Jade isn't feeling intense emotions. So um, Jade is having to um, emotionally figure out how to deal with her best friend um, having all these issues and wondering if it was her fault and all this other stuff um, while also trying to succeed in this art program and make sculptures. But um, Whenever she draws or she makes sculptures, sometimes they come alive and sometimes they hurt her. So she's having to figure out how to handle that. Um, very well done. Very well done. I thought it was really, really good. And I think it could be a really good book uh, for kids to relate to um, when they're going through similar issues like Jade is. And then I rounded off yesterday with I Want to Be a Vase which is the cutest book. Like the artwork looks like it. it's computer animated, but basically it's about this plunger. The plunger is like, I want to be a vase. And the, the plunger now vase, um, starts to um, make his dreams come true. Some of the household appliances, especially the vacuum, um, give the vase, um, issues about it. Like they give them, like they give the vase flack about it. And the, the vase is basically like, this is who I am now. And the vase inspires all the other household items to be who they want to be as well. And for even the vacuum to be comfortable in who they are. Um, and I thought it did really good because obviously it's talking about, um, transgender in the in terms that like a little child can understand but also it's real it's it's a really good book for just you know defying the roles that are expected of you um either ones that we are born in or ones that are thrust upon us by our family or friends um defying those and seeking our true happiness which is what anyone wants I, anyone just wants to be happy um, deep down, which I thought was a really good message in the book. So I recommend that cute little picture book for anyone. Also, the picture book wants to be a hat. So you have to respect it. It is now a hat. <laughs> so adorable. But anyways, so today we are going to start with, um, what are we going to start with? I'm going to try to finish up Pretty Dead Queens. I'm 265 out of 336 pages. So I think I can finish it this Ooh, someone subscribed to me. Yay. Um, I, 
pretty sure I can finish it. Or this, like, round. I'm doing 30 minutes on the treadmill, obviously. Pretty sure I can finish it. Um, and then I have got to find where my copy of Murder for the Modern Girl went. Because I'm supposed to have a review for it on Sunday. And I don't think I ever got it ever got sent to my Kindle. So I gotta go find out that mystery. Um, actually, let me put that on my to-do list for today before I forget. Because I have... A really big to-do list. I am trying to get a lot of the weekend stuff done because I want to read and relax. I've had a stressful week. I deserve some relaxation. So yeah, so I want to do those two books um, and I'm redoing my physical TBR. I think I might be starting with um, Hell Followed With Us or Game of Strength of the Storm. I can't remember so I will update y'all later on that. And obviously the household chores so we're gonna be busy for today it's gonna be a very very busy day um so, but i will try to at least close the vlog out by tonight so i will catch y'all up in a bit if i look rough there's a reason why i look rough oh hey bookies it is the fourth um saturday i forgot to end the vlog yesterday i was doing a ton of stuff i was shopping late um, getting groceries and stuff like that, but now I don't have to do it today, so woo. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is it for everything. I didn't read anything yesterday, so nothing new to report there. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I ever updated it. Um, I did finish Pretty Dead Queens, actually. I did finish that yesterday. So, we're starting off next week with Before Takeoff for the computer book. Um, I need to still read, um, Murder... For the modern girl, I need to figure out where that book is. I don't have it in my Kindle. I, they never sent it. I don't know. Um, but I'm also reading um, Never Coming Home, which is... Uh, I'm so excited for that one. Um, in fiscal books, I am on Trusting True North. Um, so, yeah, that is it for everything. So, thank you all for watching. See you again. Bye.